All right, welcome back everybody to day number five of Blockchain Developer Week. What is Blockchain Developer Week? It is an entire week of events brought to you by Access Blockchain Association of Malaysia, along with its many partners, including Bitcoin Malaysia, Blocklime, Talkchain, EVKL, Grenade, App Media, DeFi Singapore, and Imperium Universe. Uh, Blockchain Developer Week is part of a larger e series of events. If you've been following, it is six weeks of events and every single week is a different theme. And right now we are on the fifth week, which is Blockchain Developer Week to train up the talent in this space. And we're going to end Malaysia Blockchain Month next week with a two-day conference with all the various stakeholders called Ignite. Wow, six weeks of events. Why are we doing this? Because as an association, part of our mission is to grow the industry. What kind of industry we're talking about? An industry where digital assets live on the internet and they are secured by decentralized networks called blockchains. So this week we are focusing and we have a whole series of events, okay? The mindset here is to give you as exposure to as many uh, technologies and platforms as possible and to give you that quick start so that you can quickly develop on the chain. In throughout the entire week we had a lot of boot camps, okay, from Ethereum, Solidity, Binance Smart Chain, Wobby Eco Chain, Consensus Quorum, and right now, uh, to help us to build quickly on and chain, we have a very special event. Today is going to be a little bit more special than what we have seen previously because today is going to be uh, one hour 45 minutes long. All right. Why is it extra long? Because the whole and chain team okay is here to bring you the best okay start of building the end chain uh, as possible i'm going to introduce okay from the left to right okay is derek loy you have met him before he is the general manager of international business internet Intelli intelligent technology division of and group uh robin Liu, the director of blockchain applications of and group is here Di daniel lee the director of blockchain as a service uh, of and group is also here tony sun responsible for global partnerships and user engagement of Truspo, which you will learn okay is very useful for trade finance applications and sheng jiao uh, who is a blockchain expert in Ang Group, who's going to show and do a demonstration on risk control. Last but not least, Bernard Chong, who will be responsible, who is responsible for partner ecosystem development. So there's a lot to cover right now. So I would like to invite our first special guest, Derek Loy. Uh, hi, Derek. Thank you so much, okay, for joining us on Blockchain Developer Week again. Most welcome. Uh, I'm really happy to be here, Jason, and. Uh, you know, first and foremost, a good evening to, to, the, to the audience. Uh, my name is Derek Loy. I'm the GM for Intelligent Technology of N Group, uh, you know, responsible for the international business. And the portfolio that we have is branded uh, as N Chain Plus. So um, as what Jason has mentioned, right, we have an exciting itinerary lineup for you today where we are going to, you know, deep dive a bit more Right, so of course, peel open the, the onions, right? Uh, to better understand the architecture and some of the design, uh, you know, uh, uh, uh background, uh, design principles behind uh, our both our blockchain offering as well as uh, some of our non blockchain offerings, such as Traspo, right? So, uh, this is where you know it is really interesting because you know, they uh, we do understand that you know, blockchain is a means to an end. And the end itself is how we can combine some of the other trusted technology components, uh, such as AIoT, such as uh, you know uh, this uh, data analytics, uh, risk control, together with blockchain, in order to deliver what you call a industry-specific solution that addresses a certain pain point, right? So, so that is uh, what we hope to to do today uh, in the next uh, you know uh, ninety minutes. So, uh, if I may, right, I just want to quickly recap uh, for those of you who might uh, have uh, not attended the last session. Uh, who who is Ang Group, right? So we we 
and group uh you know essentially is uh you know a um an organ a global organization where which we we strive to create the infrastructure and the platform to support uh digital trans transformation of the service industry right uh and we we uh, our mission statement is to essentially uh, ensure inclusive uh, financial services, uh, you know, that's green and sustainable to all consumers as well as SMEs, right? So um, we are the owner and operator of Alipay, which uh, some of you would know uh, and used. Uh, it is a leading global digital payment platform uh, that's serving millions of users, not only in China, but also outside of China uh, already. Uh, and we we connect uh, you know merchants as well as uh, partner uh, FSIs onto this uh, global platform in order to offer inclusive financial services and digital daily life services. Um, we have also further introduced uh, Nchain Plus recently, uh, which is committed to using trusted technologies to enable trust and connect business. So through the integration of blockchain the Internet of Things, uh, data analytics, and uh, intelligent risk management, we provide a wide portfolio of industry solutions that ultimately serves to connect business, to enable better collaboration, and to create value. So uh, in, in summary, right, intelligent technology uh, is to connect industries onto the digital highway of trust, thereby enabling uh, in a, and accelerating the adoption of digital economy uh, digital transactions, uh, which is a key part of digital economy, and to connect B to B to Cs. And Enchain Plus is our uh, portfolio, uh, the name of our portfolio, and essentially it's all about making trust simple. Now, un uh, unlike the previous, uh, 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 what do you call, session, I would love to actually show a video today because sometimes this is more interesting, it's easier to understand. So if I may, I will play the video right now. Wait, uh, Derek, can you alternate tab and share uh, the screen first? Oh, sorry. It's okay. Uh, was I... uh, just, oh. it's, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Uh, just alternate tab and okay. share the screen before playing the video. Uh, so can you see the, the video now? Uh, not yet. Okay. Let me, let me uh, just do the steps again so i'll full screen then i'll go back to this i'll share share screen window okay all right everyone can cool. see you already awesome thank you so much oh thanks for bearing with me just now <laughs> it's okay this tiny block it's like the nucleus at the core of Ant Chain. It looks simple, but it can take assets that were isolated and link them up. When hundreds of millions of products are linked by the chain, their movement all over the world can be traced with ease. When each and every stroke is linked by the chain, Ingenuity and creativity will no longer fear infringement. When people's mutual care are linked by the chain, goodness of human nature could be felt even behind the screen. When B2B is linked by the chain, thousands of orders and tens of thousands of widgets can also release great value. Unprecedented values together. Greater value is being created. More trust is being built. A better future is happening. Link infinite value. Get linked with AntChain. Thank you so much. So I hope this gives you a, a better perspective of, uh, you know, the Enchain uh, uh, portfolio. And, uh, you know, today, right? Sorry. Today, um, you know, it's really about uh, 
sharing with you how we intend to enable the partner ecosystem and the community. All right. So, uh, you know, just to, um, you know, I'm, I'm very excited to, to announce uh, that in November, we will be organizing a full day developers day, right? It will be the first uh, for Entrim Plus uh, globally uh, outside of China. Uh, and we are very excited to have some of the speakers, some of the content, uh, you know, that it will be previewed today. Uh, so stay tuned for that uh, later on. But essentially, um, you know, to enable this partner ecosystem, uh, Bernard uh, will share a bit more on our partner program, uh, which has four tiers of partnership. Uh, at the same time, it's also about really enabling the students, the developers, the communities, right, uh, you know, to, to understand and leverage on what uh, Enchim Plus can provide. So this is uh, hopefully uh, what we can give you a preview today, followed by the actual developer day in, in November. So okay. that's all from an introduction point of view. Uh, Jason, back to you. All right. Thanks very much, Derek, Okay, for kicking start the bootcamp. Our next speaker is Robin Liu, who is the Director of Blockchain Applications. Uh, Robin, we are excited to learn from you today. Take it away. Thank you, Jason. So uh, let me share my screen first. Uh, can you see my screen, Jason? Yes, everyone can. OK, thank you. So uh, uh, I briefly introduce myself. So uh, I'm director of Ant uh, Chain Technology in Intelligence Technology Unit and Group. So uh, uh, today I will give you a high-level introduction on what we are working on technologically and uh, what are the uh, technology trends that we thought will be in the future. So it's basically a progress sharing of uh, uh, ancient technologies in uh, uh, recent years that has been, uh, we, are, we have been spent on. Uh, first part, the development of ancient technology. So, uh, and blockchain was upgraded to end chain last year. And this is not a, only an upgrade of technology brand. It is a upgrade of technology strategy. The blockchain technology is just a starting point of end chain. And uh, now the end chain is not only about blockchain, it's all about uh, blockchain and its relevant uh, technologies altogether. So uh, what we think on the uh, new wave of uh, our digital economy, that the key strategies that we play that we uh, in the future that we are uh, currently thinking is, the first is technology innovations. Technology is always the key to drive the, uh, uh, the progress of the economy, digital, especially in digital world. So uh, technology is our gene Inside our gene, we have we started uh, uh, probably five years ago from a small uh, lab group, and uh, now we are uh, continuously uh, heavily invested in technology innovations. The second part, the key is uh, open service. We think the open is the key to success for blockchain uh, society and the blockchain community. The third part, uh, we will uh, work together with business partners and uh, uh, we will help our partners to thrive in the new uh, digital economy. Uh, the last day, uh, we saw uh, the currently the uh, uh, blockchain is still building a, a lot of uh, uh, internet. Now, in the future, the network interoperability will become more and more in important so that all the internet can be connected all together and uh, build a wide world, uh, it can, uh, internet uh, world widely. So uh, these are the uh, basic technologies we are uh, working on. We have, been, we have worked on in the past few years. So uh, Antichain as a, a infrastructure, I think the uh, technology continuous investment is very important to success. Technology uh, it itself uh, uh, takes time and we have been uh, spend, uh, 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 we have invested uh, a lot of efforts on the on different areas. 
uh, for example, in the uh, smart, efficient uh, smart contract engine, we have uh, uh, incorporated JIT and AIoT technologies, and we can support uh, multiple programming languages. Uh, another example probably uh, uh, is uh, comprehensive uh, security prote protection uh, uh, technologies. We are the first one to uh, commercialize the TEE hardware in blockchain world. And uh, uh, we use, uh, uh, we have different levels of data protection scheme by physical isolation, by uh, uh, using TE hardware or using uh, encryption based uh, uh, privacy protection uh, technologies. And uh, another, uh, probably the uh, new blockchain storage as more and more applications are uh, commercialized on blockchain, uh, consulting blockchain. And uh, the storage will become uh, uh, more and more important. We developed a new storage kernel that supports hundreds of millions of accounts. And uh, in the meantime, it can reduce the storage cost. So, and uh, uh, to uh, uh, with higher read and write performance. And other technologies, of course, we are uh, currently working on. We have, support, we have a blockchain transmission network to efficiently and flexibly uh, transmit uh, the, all the, uh, to deploy uh, blockchain worldwide and uh, um, incre uh, increase the bandwidth, bandwidth usage by 80%. And the last part, uh, probably cross-chain services, we, we, all, we have our own protocol uh, we call ODITS that can support uh, interoperability between heterogeneous uh, multi-chains from end chain to uh, other, for example, foreign or uh, Ethereum blockchain networks. All these are the uh, basic te technologies that we are currently uh, working on. So uh, the second part I will uh, highlight is to uh, uh, what we are thinking on the uh, trust technology in itself. And uh, we, I will talk about the, our thoughts on the technology trends uh, regarding the uh, blockchain uh, area fields. So today, Anchain has successfully taken the first step by implement, implementing a large number of uh, uh, blockchain applications. We have com commercialized uh, uh, more than 50 uh, uh, application scenarios and uh, uh, powered by uh, Anchain uh, consulting blockchain. Next, our folks will be the core competence blood by the blockchain technology, the ability to transfer value into, into digital world and build a comprehensive trust infrastructure. The core of value internet is from the, uh, from the following three steps. It connects the physical world to digital world with digitalized assets. And then the digitalized assets can be transferred and circulated in the uh, blockchain uh, core network. And uh, uh, the release the value of the data empower the develop uh, development of real world industries. Therefore, the core technology trend that concerns us is also try to resolve around this idea. The technology chains around, we think, will be the following uh, uh, three dimensions. The first will be the deep integration of blockchain and AIoT technology, because that's the first step to digit digitalize assets and makes the source data more reliable. Uh, the second technology chain we thought is the deep integration of blockchain and the privacy computing to realize the real transfer of the data of assets. And the third chain and we, have, we thought is integration of software and hardware with relevant uh, integrated uh, blockchain network uh, technologies and relevant technologies 
such as uh, uh, risk risk managers and AIoT and AI technology. Now let's look at the uh, uh, the first part: blockchain technology and uh, AIoT. The first step of the digitalization is to digitalize the transfer, digitalize the assets before we can transfer the information. IoT technology is to link the physical world and achieve real-time and credible trust data anchoring so that it can build a trusted uh, starting point for data assets. And Chen, we have uh, been playing in this AIoT field for a long time. We have uh, uh, applications uh, commercialized in logistics, warehouse, and uh, internet of vehicles, etc., and uh, it allows the physical assets to be reliably published to the chain and uh, transferred to the chain uh, in a trusted manner. The second uh, technology trend we saw is the, the deep integration of blockchain and privacy computing technologies. As we all know, that big data is no longer an uh, unfamiliar uh, technology to everyone because the big data has helped finance uh, government affairs and many other applications and a lot of efficiencies to, uh, to the to business. However, as people pay more attention nowadays to privacy and the data securities, regulators from all around the world has published strict laws and rules and have that have restricted the usage of uh, and a free flow of the data so how to use the data and avoid the data isolated in, in becoming a data island of course it should be under the condition of security and compliance this is becoming a more and more important uh, issue we believe that the integration of uh, privacy computing technology together with the blockchain technology to realize the assets transfer is the future direction that can bring true value of the data. And chain, we have in heavily invested in this field. We integrated the privacy computing technologies uh, such as MPC, multiple uh, multi-party computing or a TEE uh, represents a trusted execution environment or uh, why uh, very well known like uh, uh, ZKP, zero knowledge proof and relevant privacy computing technologies. We um, combine these technologies and uh, uh, we developed a multi-layer data collection network and create a trusted technology uh, solution to support flexible data flow and collaboration. The third chain is a full stack trusted uh, software and hardware in integration. With more and more applications powered by uh, the blockchain technology as an imp important infrastructure for the future, it will bound it to, toward the different forms of uh, deployments, which of course will be including private, private distributed uh, deployment. So it will become an important trend to integrate existing software and hardware technology to form an uh, integrated full stack trusted solution. Over the past few years, we have uh, actively explored technologies in data privacy, uh, as I mentioned before in, in, in earlier slides, or network security, high performance networks, consensus and storage, etc. So combined with all these technologies, we developed an all-in-one box integrated workstation we call Antchain Station. So it's the, the most important part is it's all plug and play. It's easy to use it. You just uh, plug in power up and it will be able to connect it to uh, end chain world. 
So inside this uh, uh, this work chain uh, and chain station, we custom custom designed and created our own security computing modules and uh, blockchain acceleration hardware modules, etc. Uh, this way. Uh, it can achieve uh, uh, high performance and a more uh, um, uh, higher level of security uh, um, uh, features. And chain station has been deployed uh, in uh, in Chinese market for uh, multiple applications. And the, in the future, our next step, we will build a full stack, secure, and uh, trusted infrastructure with higher reliability, uh, scalability, and uh, ease of maintenance. That's a key of the uh, uh, all-in-one box uh, and chain extension. So at the last part, I will uh, briefly uh, talk about our open ecosystem. Uh, the, uh, we understand the openness is the key success to blockchain community and the blockchain world. We, in fact, have uh, multi-level cooperation opportunities, no matter you are a developer or you are, uh, represent an institution or you are from uh, colleges and universities and even you are experts in this field. We have all uh, cooperation opportunities. Besides, we have a, a comprehensive service platform. We provide uh, courses and uh, teaching uh, learning materials for developers uh, and uh, uh, to learn the uh, ancient technology stack. And we, we allow uh, developers to publish applications easily to our open consulting blockchain platform. And uh, at the end, we have an end-to-end -end application development uh, framework that can help you to develop uh, blockchain applications um, and publish your uh, application uh, into anti-chain platform. Um, this framework, it will include the development middleware. It will have some uh, smart contract development studio and uh, also will have features of uh, uh, security audit services automatically. And uh, in the end, and uh, our developers can share that. We have a knowledge sharing center for developers to share their experience of using uh, end-chain uh, technologies. Uh, last but not least, and uh, we provide uh, different levels of certifications for uh, developers who are interested into our, uh, to get, get to know uh, our technologies uh, from basic level to mid-level to uh, expert level. So if you are uh, uh, anyway interested in these uh, certifications and uh, uh, or want to learn more about blockchain and chain technologies, uh, please feel free to contact our international uh, um, uh, colleagues. Uh, they are uh, based in Singapore and uh, probably some other countries, and uh, they will help you to uh, get on board. Uh, that concludes my uh, high-level introduction uh, of Anchen and uh, and the future. Uh, later, my colleagues will uh, introduce some of the special topics uh, in technical field. Thank you All very right. much. Thank you very much, Robin. Uh, we are really excited. Okay, we have a lot to cover, so I'm going to uh, bring in the next speaker. He is Daniel. Daniel is the director of Blockchain as a Service. Uh, uh, for the Ant Group. Uh, Daniel, Hi, Jason. Hello. Yeah, hi, Jason. Thank you so much. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So, I what will you be share... sharing with us today? Okay, I will share the Unchained Developer Solutions. So, can you see my screen? Yeah, my yes. my PPT. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. I'll start. Okay. Today, and um, as the Robin has introduced Unchained, right? The technology and the applications, also scenario and open ecosystem. And, and my name is uh, Daniel and Daniel Lee, and I'm responsible for the blockchain service. And also I'm the director of that department also. And 
and be honored to share the developer solution for you to use the on-chain. And okay, then first uh, let's uh, uh, review the whole life cycle of you develop um, the uh, applications on the blockchain. Actually, the first step is to prepare the environment, right? And you, 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 you first, first of all, you got a blockchain like uh, from the blockchain service of the on-chain and also the open consultant chain. And you could create an access key pair and also create an account on that blockchain. So then after you pre preparation and you then download some demo code and download the demo project and also the develop, development SDK, then you can fastly uh, use that chain and get the source code compiled and to run. And then and you you go to the step of contract development, smart contract development. That's the most important step. And the, the business logic and the, your, your own code logic, what uh, is written in, in this step. And also it's very complex and you, it needs you a lot of coding knowledge and also and other the business logics. And so, so it's, uh, I think it's the most creative and most uh, uh, complex steps. And finally, you application and in integration integrated with the blockchain and with the IDK. And then you can call in you the, you can call you a smart contract and you can make all the business flow is running. So, so by the briefly reviewing of the, the Life cycle, we can see that the contract development is the most complex and the most uh, difficult thing to do in the whole life cycle for the development. So we um, provide the full development suits for your developers. And from the left to side, um, I, I will briefly introduce one by one. And the first one, Cloud ID, as the name, you know, it's cloud-based development. It's very light and very small, but beautiful. It means that it, it, you, you can do everything. You can every basic things for development with the cloud ID, and you don't need to install the software on your own uh, environment. And the next one is the on-chain dev studio, uh, development studio, right? If you have used the Vero code and other the IDE, and you, you will see the on-chain dev studio Studio is uh, one thing that's uh, similar, but it's specific for the on-chain, right? You, you, you must install it in your lo local environment, your local virtual machine or your, your local PC and your local environment and by the local development, but it's the comprehensive and it's powerful. And you, you, you can do the all things basic, basically for development uh, smart contract. And then if you uh, uh, actually, you want for rapid development, right? Uh, without the much coding uh, for the zero coding or low low coding. So, so you can use the quick platform de deployment and development environment by one click or even by very simple smart contract development, then you can get a very uh, fastly application running. And the last one is chain stack. You see it's a full stack development for the full life cycle. Besides the smart contract development and also the application running uh, middleware. With those middleware, you, you, you can, with the 90%, uh, sorry, the 70% or 80% of the full stacks and you just build, build your own logics and run your applications. So then I will go deeply with one by one to introduce and the four different seals and you will find the, the, which one is better for you, okay? Then the first cloud ID, you see, actually that's, you can access it from the uh, cloud environment, cloud environment and if you log in, you, you, you will see that things like the, the, like the IDE editing. And on the left, left part, you will find the 
file browser, and you can debug a smart contract. And you also have some special things like contract security audit. It's developed by the uh, Unchain team. And also it's for the security checking uh, with the smart contract. As you know, that's uh, it's very complex and very technical oriented for the security audit. So it, then you have the contract, you, you can execute a contract transaction, okay? And on the main area is the uh, code editing, code editing area. So also there have the contract sy syntax um, checking. And on the bottom, you will see the console, console, console output, right? And see the code, how is code running? And basically we, we think the cloud ID is uh, specific and he has several features for the on-chain block. First thing is uh, it supports uh, the multi-contract virtual machine like the EVM or Vosa, right? And also you can use write directly the feature of the hardware privacy protection uh, with our specific language feature and to make you code and make you smart contract more security. And then the, with this one, you can also develop the cross chain, like the, from the on chain to the fabric and other things and cross chain smart contract, yeah. And then it's also integrated with our other environments and with our other program, like the Alipay mini program ID. And also you can get it not only from the public cloud service and also it can together build together with the private depo deployment. And then it's also covered the full life cycle of the con contract development. It, then first uh, create the project in contract templates market. Also the, uh, as I have mentioned, the contract security audit analyze diagnosis and reporting. Then the automation test, unit test. Also very par powerful feature is the simulation of the contract running. And you can simulate your contract running and you don't need to de directly deploy the, your contract on the uh, running environment. Also, it can update a contract, which is supported by the on-chain block. So we will see this is a cloud ID. And then it's another one is on-chain dev studio, right? And it's a, you need to install on your own running, uh, on your own PC. And also it have a very powerful features. And I think the full life cycle features, uh, first is the contract development. And you, you can see the more detail of your running contract, you can debugging it. And also it's supposed more contract language like C++, Go, Rust, and TypeScript. Also it can make the code complication and make the error promotes. You can debug your contract. And you also, it's very convenient, friendly, and it's security, right? It's have a lot of the contract templates and the low code, low code features. Also, um, we, we, we provide some security enhancement, right? And, and for this on-chain dev studio, we think make the contract development more friendly. And also we want to make the threshold for development uh, smart contract is lower. So, I think with the Unchain Dev Studio, you can install it on your Mac OS. And if you are more experienced developers, you can use it, right? Then it's the quick application installation services. As you know, the um, for those days, the low code and zero code development is very famous, right? For different platform, for different application development. And for, for our, for us, the on-chain, the on-chain, we also provide such things. And it's make you release your more cr creative, right? And you, you can get the block, blockchain from the best platform. Or you can get your blockchain from the 
open chain, right? Open consultant mount chain, right? Then you got chain in few minutes and you can use our zero code and low code development, development platform, like the quick application construction platform. It will boost your application development. And we divide it, we divide it for three steps, three functions. The first one is zero code. It's mostly for the no trace structure business data, right? It, and after you, after you just uh, define your own structure business data, and you got the zero code one click blockchain template. And with this one, you don't need to develop any code, just config and then one click and running your no tree service. And the second is the, the contract development for the low code smart contract development. You got uh, templates, right? Contract templates. So with that one, you can quick make quick contract development. With those tools, the, the contract is very simple. And uh, the thing says cool. Uh, with that things and you can create your own contract and you, you don't know the much more the language uh, features and the language details and finally on the mobile phone right the most application is i think is more familiar with users on the mobile phone so you also got the application development environment for the blockchain applic Plugins. With the plugins, you can uh, directly offer your service on the mobile phones, both on the iOS or Android. So all the things is packaged in our the quick application construct construction platform. Yeah. And finally, uh, the last one is our chain stack. With the name, you think the chain stack is not only and offering our development of contract functions. It's also offering the middleware, the running middleware. And it's covered the different things like the, the computation of chain and also the application of chain. Also the cross chain functions and the development framework, the DIPP application development framework. And all, also, it provides things for the high availability functions as for the production running. And also, the, it's integrated with the, with the cloud chain middleware and the security scanning and the contract coding specification. With all the things we pack together with the chain stacks. And so by the chain stacks, it's make a not only make the development tools, it's also make a, a running stacks and it can offer you more powerful things and more functional features for your own running applications, especially for the production and applications. So it's very powerful. And then finally, uh, with above four development tools and you can choose one right and by on a point your own situation and besides that we also go deeply for the technology and for the te technical details for the things if you want to you know like the smart contract running fastly right you must go deeply and you must make things for the language level uh, programming language level. Our on chain also makes things on that level. First things for different business in scenario, we define the asset scenario DSL, domain specific language. And also for other DSL. With the DSL, you can develop the things for business specific scenarios and it's tuned for better performance, right? And we also um, provide, and we also suppose more smart contract language. For high performance, you can choose the C++ and Rust. 
And for the easy development, you can use the TypeScript, Java. And also you can use Golang uh, for the balance before, between above two, right? And the, for performance tuning, right? We, the one difficult thing is about the storage, the IO, right? It, it's slow, a point the other running um, software. For that part, we also make better um, improvement. We make we our own my buffer library and also DSL for the better storage and for efficiency and for the running fastly, right? So that's all the things we, we do for the developers. The programming, the domain specific language, and we want to offer an efficient and pro professional toolbox and solutions for our developer. And at last, and we already provide the open chain, the open consultant blockchain, as you know, right? It's make the better performance and the low threshold. And also the price is lower. And the open consultant blockchain that is designed for the small and the middle sized enterprise and developers. And furthermore, we are developing a more powerful platform besides the open consultant blockchain. We will offer in future for the open platform, the on-chain, on-blockchain open platform. And not only uh, for you to develop uh, an applications on the blockchain, it's also make the service uh, based on the our service pod platform and you can call the service like call and function. So with the open platform, you can get more openness, right? For the quick server service release. Also you can li link with the other service for the other developer developing. So every consultant blockchain is automatically linked on the open platform. And finally, the service is so many, right? We provide an on-chain service marketplace. You can find more service on the marketplace. So everything we are building and we will offering in future. So that's all my presentation. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you for sharing with us uh, uh, so many a uh, wealth of information from the Unchained Dev Studio, the one-click setup, quick contract deployment, chain stack, and the consortium blockchain. Now, moving forward, I'm going to bring in the next because we still have a lot to cover. The next one is also very interesting. Uh, Tony, okay, is the person responsible for global partnerships and user engagement of the use case uh, that is Trustpo. You saw Trustpo last week when uh, Anchain okay, was presenting uh, about the use case in trade finance. Now you get to dive in a little bit deeper with Tony. Tony, take it away. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Um, you can hear me all right? Loud and clear. Hello? All right, I assume you can hear me then. Yes, we can um, hear you loud and clear. Okay, so hi everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. My name is Tony Sun, part of the Trustpo team uh, from Ant Group. So uh, then I'm going to take a few minutes to introduce you uh, to what Trustpo is. So first of all, we'll start with the name. Uh, Trustpo is a made up word uh, using a trust made simple, the phrase. We're taking the first part of it and the last part of it, put together. Uh, it's, it's, it's Trustpo. All right, and what Trustpo does is it is a digital platform for international trade and trade-related financial services. Uh, and it's, it's uh, powered by end-chain technologies. Uh, you know, in, the, in the traditional uh, international trade uh, business, uh, the process is largely manual and offline, uh, and with a lot of overhead and extra costs associated uh, with, with the entire industry. And, and there, traditionally, there is a of trust because precisely 
uh, that the, the two parties involved in the in the in the transaction uh, are in two different countries and different jurisdictions and different languages and cultures and, and laws and everything. So uh, trustful with the, with a the goal uh, is to digitalize the entire value chain of international trade. At the same time, provide more certainty and trust between the buyers and the sellers. Uh, the second goal is for Trustful is to decrease the overall costs in the trade process for all the participants, not only the buyers and sellers, uh, but also uh, banks, you know, shipping companies, and all the other partners that are uh, involved in the trade value chain. And lastly, and, and, and you know, not not least, not least, um, it's it's um, we we're, we're finding ways to provide SMEs better finance. You know, SME lending is a, is a, is a big problem uh, all over the world in every single industry, not only trade. Uh, but with trade in particular, because it's, it's a cross-border transaction, uh, sometimes we find that SMEs have particular difficulties uh, accessing uh, necessary trade finances. Uh, so we are also working with our partners uh, to provide uh, that inclusive trade finance to our customers. All right, so this is a background uh, and also the the mission and goals of trust. Um, I also want to address uh, the value propositions to our users, uh, which are the SME buyers uh, and also SME sellers in the international cross-border trade. Well, first of all, uh, we do offer convenient and secure payment. Right? There are a few different options uh, that the platform supports uh, and the users can choose uh, their, their own choice uh, to make the payment. But regardless of which option they choose, it is convenient and it's, it is uh, secure. And also related to the first point, the second is low transaction cost. Right? Whichever option, payment option uh, that the users choose, um, the, the cost will be low uh, and will be lower than the average uh, that people can find in the market. In the next slide, I'm going to dive into a bit more on uh, what payment options there are. Um, but the third point is data privacy and security. Right, through the studies we've had with our users, uh, one thing that people are particularly concerned about is information security. You know, the sellers are very concerned if their buyer information is leaked uh, to, to, to other uh, potential competitors or used for other purposes. But on Trustful, because we're powered by Enchain, um, the data privacy security is a very, very high level and we're not using the user's data for uh, anything uh, you know, for, for our own purposes or uh, marketing purposes or for other uh, businesses. And the fourth point is digital order management, supplier management. Because we are aware that uh, most of the SMEs cannot afford a proper ERP system. And these ERP systems are largely not designed for SMEs anyway. So Trustboard comes in and uh, it offers a one-stop shop for all the users to manage their digital orders at one place. Uh, and also for the buyers and from their perspective, uh, we offer a place for them to manage their suppliers as well. Uh, related to this point, you know, the fifth uh, value proposition is supply profile and trade paths. What this means is we actually have a database on six million Chinese companies that are conducting export businesses. Um, and, uh, and when the buyers overseas, uh, when they deal with a Chinese supplier, whether they want to vet a particular buyer, uh, supplier, or they are comparing a few uh, to each other, they can come into Trustful and search for that particular supplier on the supply, uh, supply profile function. And we'll supply uh, the, the buyers a profile of that company. And then, um, you know, with, with all this registration information, you know, patents, technology, branding, and also shareholding structure information, uh, the buyers will be able to make a better decision when choosing and comparing suppliers. Lastly, again, it's about accessible trade financing uh, for the SMEs. Uh, we also we work with banks and also other partners uh, to, to provide that better experience and at the same time, uh, you know, affordable uh, finance. All right, and more specifically, how can users use Trustful? Right on the left, we have the payment options that are available. Where right, largely there are two. Uh, one is using the banks. Right, we are integrating with a lot of banks um, uh, to 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 the platform, 
and then uh, users can opt to, to use AutoPay, which is leveraging the blockchain technology. Um, it's, it's automatically triggered telegraphic transfer uh, from the transfer platform sent to the bank on the buyer's behalf. And because we're using smart contracts in here, and the word auto, uh, it means uh, the, the, the trade order will include all the necessary payment conditions uh, that are needed to trigger a payment. And once these conditions are met, uh, the machine will run itself and automatically trigger these transactions. And also from the bank, so we offer financing. Uh, where currently, the users can apply for a payment guarantee on behalf of the buyer to the seller. And also, we're offering uh, both the seller and the buyer to financing uh, services. And the second uh, bucket of option, a uh, payment option, is card payments. Uh, within that, we're supporting all the major networks uh, for credit cards as well as debit cards, uh, where users can just put in their card number and you know uh, all the related details, and then the card payments will be processed. And the transaction fee is lower than marketing uh, than the industry average. And um, you know, if you're interested, please stay tuned as well, because we have more options coming. And for the users, it's not complicated to use at all. All right, there are four large steps that the, that the users have to take. First of all, they have to register on Trustful, right? That's I think that's a, that's a given. And second is they draft and manage the entire trade order on the block uh, on the on the Trustful platform, right? The entire life cycle from drafting it. Uh, and then confirming it, uh, and also uh, tracking each step uh, along the process. You know whether if it's um, you know advanced payment, uh, the seller prepares stuff and shipping, um, and, and then you know uh, final payments and, and delivery. And all the trade order statuses will be tracked uh, in this one place. And also, of course, I've already mentioned this. Um, but, you know payments, or if the users want to use financing uh, to to make the payments, uh, those options are also available. And when the payments are made and the goods are delivered, the order is complete. And of course, the users will have all the history of past orders you know, uh, saved on the platform uh, as well. Lastly, I want to provide a case study. Uh, Miss Yuan, this is actually our very first user. Uh, she's based out of Yiwu. Uh, for, for those of you, of you who don't know, Yiwu is, is the place where you know, 60% of, you know, a lot of different products are made and shipped to all over the world. All right, so it's, uh, if you import uh, from China, uh, then, then you've probably heard of this place. And right, her buyer is actually sitting in Hong Kong, the paying, the paying party. And the products are shipped uh, to Mexico, right? This is common uh, for, for, for Hong Kong. So uh, the feedback she got, uh, she, she gave us, uh, was that Trustful Platform saved her a lot of the time, and uh, as a result, she, you know, she had a higher free, uh, efficiency uh, within her operations. And and also, uh, one problem she was complaining about her uh, operations was that uh, increasingly uh, buyers are, are buying on credit, you know, saying, you know, please and ship ship the product to me this month, and I will pay you next or the the, 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 the one before uh, the one after. Um, so this is making her nervous, but by offering uh, that trade finance and also the payment guarantee function on Trustful, her buyers can now uh, buy from her with a credit, and, and she uh, she has a has has, has a, a better understanding of the situation and also peace of mind. Okay, so that's uh, that's the testimony that we have uh, from our our users. So if you are interested, uh, you can visit us. Uh, the website is uh, trustful.com. Very simple. All right, so that concludes uh, my, my presentation. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, Tony. Um, up next, we have uh, Sheng Jiao, who is going to share with us uh, a demo. On She's a blockchain expert in Ang Group, and she's going to share with us a demo of risk control. Sheng Jiao, are you ready? Just give a okay. While waiting for Sheng Jiao to here, let's answer a few questions.
questions. Uh, Tony, can you answer some of these questions? Uh, the first question is, how many people, uh, how many financial institutions have joined uh, TRUSPO so far? Uh, there are about. Um, I mean, let me give an example. Right, right in, in the neighboring country of Malaysia, uh, in Singapore, we actually onboarded three banks already, uh, which includes uh, Standard Chartered Bank, uh, DBS, and also OCBC. Right, so, uh, so we're rolling out uh, globally in, in, uh, in, uh, in different phases. Um, and you know, these, these connections are not made within a day. Uh, so, so we're taking we're taking that uh, that uh, process gradually. Okay. Uh, one more question. All right. Before we bring in Sheng Jiao, uh, how do how does Anchain and Trustpo different uh, differ from We Dot Trade? Right. Very very good question. So, well, first of all, uh, the the market is very different, right? So, from our understanding. Um, you know, we, we don't have to comment too much on, on our peers, but um, from our understanding, that uh, we trade focuses in primarily on uh, European markets. Uh, and I, I, if I'm not mistaken, the majority of the partners, uh, that the members, are actually European banks. Uh, we're uh, trustful, right, coming from the Ant uh, ecosystem. Um, we actually focus on China uh, trade corridors with other countries, where right? we're starting with Chinese, Chinese export. Uh, and but we're gonna in phase two, we're gonna conduct Chinese import from other countries uh, as well. Right? So, so I think that the market we address is is fundamentally fundamentally different. And second okay. of all, uh, hmm. yeah, sorry, please, yeah, I think um, we're out of time. So, no, it's yeah. okay. Uh, second of all, you yeah. let, let you finish. You wanted oh, to say something briefly. more. Hmm. Sure. So very very briefly, um, uh, trust, trust, trustful. Uh, it's it's a it's a customer facing uh, application, right? So we focus on our users, which are the, the SMEs, the buyer sellers. So they need to come onto Trustful, register for a profile, and they can uh, use whatever methods they feel comfortable to pay and use financing. Of course, banks are a very important part of this, but we're not limiting the choices to just banks and users. Where the way trade, from our understanding, it's a it's a banking consortium, uh, where. Uh, the, the banking uh, channels and ways to pay and financing are the only options. Uh, nothing, nothing wrong with that. We just feel that we're offering more uh, options to our users. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so Sheng Jiao is right now uh, ready. So thank you, Tony. Let's move on to the next section. Okay, I'm inviting in Sheng Jiao. Sheng Jiao, she's the blockchain expert from Anchain uh, and, and Group. Uh, and um, she's going to do a demo, okay, on risk control. Thank you, Shen Jiao. Uh, what's that? Uh, you can hear me right now, right? Very clear. Okay. So uh, I will talk about Ant Buckler, which is an Ant risk engine, and show a demo. So Ant Buckler offers risk control solution when a customer sends a transaction request, like login, register, or send payment. It will trigger our end risk engine, and the end risk engine will decide whether it's a low risk transaction or a high risk transaction. The low risk transactions get approved, while the high risk transactions will be challenged and manually reviewed. So, in this demo, we will set up a policy where the cumulative payment amount of a particular user within one hour should not exceed $500. Now let's go to the demo. This is the Ant Risk Control Dashboard. Firstly, we go to the Tenant Configurations, Property Configuration, and we configure two properties. The first one is called Payment Amount which is a double value, which indicates the amount of a particular payment. And the second property is a payment user ID, which is a string, which indicates the user's ID. After we configure two properties, we will configure a payment event. The payment event will cite these two properties, payment user ID and payment amount. 
we just said before. Then we create a payment scene. The payment scene will include the payment event. So after we, con we finished configuring the property event and scene in the tenant configuration, we will need to go to the data center's velocity management. Here, we created this calculation that payment amount cumulative is equal to the sum of the payment amount in the payment event for each payment user ID. In the variable management, we again create a payment variable, which returns the payment amount cumulative calculation we just said before. So now we can proceed on to create our strategy. Here is our payment strategy. Just like I briefly described, the user cannot pay more than 500 within one hour. So we include the cumulative amount variable and say if this is larger than 500 in the payment event, then the decision will is to reject the transaction. After the strategy is set, developers can validate this strategy by creating an event. Now let's create an event to validate. And for example, this is a payment event. And the payment user ID is 999 maybe, and the amount is 100. We can create this payment event, save it, and validate it. Now it's validated. Let's see the result. The result is accept. From the decision route, we can see that now for this user, the payment cumulative payment amount is 100, which is less than 500. So this risk control condition is not met. And hence, the final decision is accept. We go back to validate another event. Maybe why? And the, with the same user ID. And this time we can set the value to four. Four fifty. We create this event, save it, and validate. Now we can see this result. You can see that the decision is reject because the payment strategy is fired and the cumulative amount is 550. In the decision route, we can also see that this rule is triggered and it results in a reject. So that's all for the demo. We can move on to the next speaker. All right. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much, okay, Sheng Jiao. We will have questions for you later, uh, but we still have one more speaker. I'd like to uh, invite Bernard, Bernard Chong. You have met him before as well last week. He is uh, responsible for the partner ecosystem development. He's going to share with you uh, what to do next, okay, if um, to, to grow in the uh, Anchain ecosystem. Bernard? Oh, yes. Thanks, Jason. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Thank you. So, um, hi everyone. Uh, it's great to be back. Um, I was on the line, um, you know, on the session last week, um, and you know, um, thanks for um, you know being with us today. And I'm sure today, um, you know, you have learned a lot on our portfolio, and and um, you know, really, you must be thinking. So, what is the next step? Um, and you know this is something that I would like to share with you on you know the our partnership program. So you know one of the you know great way uh, in terms of next step is really to understand um, you know how do you want to scale your business, right? Because I think this is a great opportunity for you to uh, expand your portfolio and um, 
start having conversation with your customers right in areas like blockchain and um, you know these fintech uh, solutions that we shared and also to build your profile you know increase your corporate uh, visibility uh, in the market because a lot of um, you know what we talk about is uh, digital transformation so um, we have a lot of offerings um, that we can co-develop together and most importantly uh, be a trusted advisor to your clients um, because you know every uh, with, with the COVID situation, every uh, wh whether you know your client is a small medium enterprise or large enterprise, they are looking to digitize um, their their you know operations, um, and you are there to support them um, together you know with new solutions. So we have a few models that we can um, you know work with you. So we are looking for um, you know global and regional partners, but also. Uh, country specific partners as well so um, depending on you know what you would like to do um, we, so we can for example form a partnership around um, you know uh, co-selling and distributing our solutions uh, we can also uh, say we co-build certain industry solutions right today you see the full capability of what we can provide um, but if there are specific industry solutions that we can go to market together, you can build on top of our uh, blockchain, um, you know, developer platform, uh, which was shared earlier. Or you can help us with, um, you know, system integration, uh, delivering uh, some of, you know, our solutions or provide, you know, operational support um, to the platform or provide some support services. So we have uh, different models uh, for different types of uh, partnership. So um, I would appreciate if you can um, get in touch with us um, after this session. So you can um, just go to our website or you can contact me um, at my email, Bernard Chong, um, you know, at ngroup.com. All right. Thanks, uh, everyone. And uh, back to you, Jason. All right. Thanks, Bernard. Um, now, uh, so if you want to be part okay, of the ecosystem, scan the QR code, right, and uh, be part okay, of the uh, and train the okay, ecosystem today. Now, for the last session, okay, um, I'm going to invite back okay uh, some some of the speakers. Okay, uh, first question okay for Bernard first, right, uh, Bernard. Uh, does Anchain have a grant program for research and development? Um, sorry, what program? Does uh, Anchain have a grant program for research and development? A grant. A grant program. Oh, okay. Mm. So we we don't have a. You mean a grant as in G R A N T? Mm. Yeah. So we currently don't have that. Um, but we do uh, work closely um, with you know developers, um, especially uh, those those partners who would like to develop um, industry solutions uh, with us. Uh, we will work closely with them to make sure that they are successful. So far, we have um, a few um, partners who have already done that. Um, so you know we are happy to replicate that model. Um, a question, okay, uh, meant for Robin. One was wondering whether you can pick this one up. Is that how does a developer sign up for entering training and certification? Well, uh, first step is just uh, you can scan the QR code uh, and co or contact me. Um, you know, from there uh, we have um, you know training uh, for for you um, so that you can get certified. Yeah, so we have programs available today. And you know, all, all you need to do is just get in touch with that, uh, us. Then you know we can get that going. Okay. Uh, the, another question. Okay. Um, maybe for Derek. Uh, thanks for. Uh, question is, how does Anchain differ from, say, Hyperledger? Well, I would say that uh, end of the day, uh, it is really the industry solution, right, that we are deploying to address, uh, you know, specific problems. So Enchain uh, is built based on the best of class of uh, DLT. Uh, it is uh, built in mind that uh, there are specific implementations such as traceability, such as trustful, such as uh, copyright protection, which, uh, you know, we have, uh, for, for example, added and customized certain uh, capabilities, uh, you know, to, to in order to address those uh, business problems. 
Now, at the end of the day, um, you know, we actually have three flavors of, uh, uh, of blockchain offerings. Uh, it could be based on Enchain, which is our proprietary implementation. It can also be based on Hyperledger Fabric, if that is your platform of choice, right? We can craft a use case around that uh, with you. And last but not least, uh, we also have uh, Ethereum, uh, you know, Quora, uh, which is also the third uh, flavor that we have. So at the end of the day, um, I, I think for Enchain Plus, we are very focused on using the right solutions in order to deliver the right results. Okay, so with that, I think okay we have covered okay all the questions okay from the community. I'd like to thank Bernard, Derek, and the entire team for showing up in numbers. Okay, uh, Robin, uh, Tony, Sheng Jiao, uh, uh, for basically running this boot camp. That brings an end. Okay, to day number five. Okay, of this blockchain developer week. Uh, Bernard, Derek, thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much, uh, Jason. So with that, okay, uh, do okay. The next step, okay, is to scan, okay, your the QR code to claim your proof of attendance token. Okay, we have a new one for you. is a cyberpunk uh, design. Okay, scan the QR code and the secret code is EPO. 23. It is a popular tourist de destination in Malaysia, IPOH23. That's the secret code. DM the secret code to the POAP bot, okay, and the Discord channel, and you can claim your NFT today. And be back tonight for the last session of Blockchain Developer Week. Uh, 8 p.m. tonight with Tezos uh, Bootcamp done by Daniel Jean. See you guys tonight.